wonderful material and I can see whenever I go to the steel plant I see how a steel is made and what I wanted to do is to make our steel uh, which is used in a different form. I met a lot of artists who are using steel as a canvas to uh, give their ideas and their thoughts on canvas. So why can't steel become a canvas to many artists? My medium was not initially going to be metal, but I did want to bring together some literal elements from nature together with my abstract painting, which was going to be a three-dimensional wraparound painting on a sculptural base. I thought of the crescent moon as a perfect symbol to use because of its universality, because of its symbolism. It symbolizes the feminine, it symbolizes nature, and it also symbolizes new beginnings. And I wanted to bring that element together with the abstract nature of my paintings to create a contrast. The moon is also associated with the metal silver, and hence the idea of metal was born. And as soon as I decided that metal would be the right material to use for the crescent moon, that is where JSW came into the picture. I received a very generous response from Mrs. Sangeetha Jindal from my idea. She's one of India's leading art patrons and a collector of the arts. And she put me on to Mr. Ashok Hardwaj at JSW Steel, who supervised the project from beginning till end. The story began with a discussion between uh, Mrs. Sangeeta Jindal, a prominent art patron, and uh, Sharmista Ray, a well-known artist, uh, considering the use of steel in an art concept. At the beginning of the process, it was suggested to us that we take a trip to Tarapur, which is one of the company's factories near Mumbai. I spent a day there to engage with the processes that steel goes through. And I was fascinated with this industrial material that essentially is organic. And I knew that I wanted to use it as a material to paint on. At the outset, it was decided to use steel as the, the material uh, on the canvas because uh, of its versatility, uh, its environment uh, friendliness, and the surface provides immense uh, possibilities for art and aesthetics. that we uh, evaluated the HR, hot roll and uh, the coated products and finally decided on mild steel as the right product uh, for the art piece because it provided uh, advantages of weldability, uh, provided advantages of ease of fabrication and also uh, possibility of painting on top of the surface as required by the artist. The structural engineer was involved in order to ensure that the exhibit has the right stability because steel was used in terms of uh, 3.5 to 4 tons of weight. While JSW has been involved in the past in promoting and patronizing art and artists through the enthusiastic involvement of Mrs. Sangeeta Jindal, uh, it was quite natural for JSW to get involved in this venture where uh, a part of steel was being used as an art piece. Shamishita Ray and she really wanted to do a sculpture in steel and this beautiful sculpture which is there at Kalagura festival is 
so beautiful and so wonderful with inspiration of Ravindranath Tagore. And then we came to the last part. I became an artist in residence at one of the JSW properties in order to paint on steel for the very first time. We had to run through a series of tests in order to make sure that this was even possible. And once we were sure, it became about transforming this industrial metal into something beautiful and poetic and timeless. For inspiration, I used Robindranath Tagore's poem, On the Seashore of Endless Worlds, from a collection of poems called Crescent Moon. In this poem, he evokes the nature of childhood, trips to the seashore, the imagination, and the nature of freedom. I wanted the viewer to imagine that they were walking on the seashore through the different times of day, as the water changes, as the light changes. I wanted to capture that meditative ascent that comes through in Tagore's poem. It was amazing to see uh, Sharmista Ray getting involved deeply in the discussion of the concept, in visiting and inspecting the fabricator's work, and also working tirelessly with the paints on the steel. However, this joint working between the company, the artist, and the fabricators was quite unique, and we were indeed amazed with the final output. It was extremely satisfying to see the final output, which was getting spectacular responses from the crowds at the Kalakura Art Festival. Public art is a great responsibility for any artist, and I'm grateful to have had this opportunity to create this artwork for the public. It is very important that public art should be for everybody. It should not be in all art galleries. And I'm very proud that JSW Steel is a canvas to Shemesh Dali.